Hello, I'm excited to introduce you to the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine Allergy and Immunology Fellowship Program. My name is Romy Sani and I'm the program director of the fellowship program since 2008. I'm also a graduate of this program. As a program director, I've helped to train over 40 individuals in allergy and immunology. To begin with, I should mention we have two tracks, one for internal medicine trainees and one for pediatric trainees. I will review aspects of the program with a focus on the path of the internal medicine trainee. The current program leadership includes Franklin Atkinson as an associate program director on the internal medicine side, and Robert Wood as an associate program director on the pediatric side. Kate Weaver is the overall program administrator with Donna Dietrich, Donna Dietrich assisting on the pediatric side. The fellowship program began over 50 years ago in 1971 under the direction of Dr. Phil Norman. Our division was based at the Good Samaritan Hospital in Baltimore and then moved to our current site in 1989, the Asthma and Allergy Center located on the Hopkins Bayview campus. At Johns Hopkins, we have three campuses, the undergraduate or Homewood campus, the Bayview Medical Campus and Johns Hopkins Hospital Campus where the medical school is located. The medicine track trainee spends the majority of their time in the Asthma and Allergy Center, which houses our clinics, faculty and fellows offices, conference rooms, Norman Library, and both basic science and clinical research space. We have seven full-time and four part-time clinical faculty on the medicine side, with three additional part-time faculty helping with consults. Many of them are also alumni of this program. We also have nine full-time research faculty at the Asthma Center, on the pediatric side, there are six full-time faculty based on the Hopkins Hospital campus. The medicine track trainee meets all requirements in two years with an option for a third year fellowship to focus on research academic development. On the pediatric side, the program requires a full three years to complete training. Now a bit more information about the Bayview campus. About 40% of the 650 faculty in the Department of Medicine are here on this campus. In addition, the National Institute of Aging and National Institute of Drug Abuse have centers here. Hopkins Bayview Hospital has its own internal medicine training program in addition to the Osler program housed at Johns Hopkins Hospital. We host residents from both programs in our clinics as well as Hopkins medical students um, rotation. I wanna just review the timeline and structure for the Hopkins Fellowship Program in the next few minutes. Interviews typically occur during September and October with the match day this year occurring in late November. We are very selective about which applicants um, we invite for interview as we wish to match our program's mission statement with that of an applicant's career path. Our goal is to train the next generation of allergy and immunology leaders in academic research um, and education. In the six months after the match, before a new fellow joins us in Baltimore, I personally reach out to all new fellows and began the process of helping them to find a suitable research uh, mentor for this portion of their future training. Since we have a large faculty with diverse interests, we aim to narrow down a list of potential mentors together uh, with a fellow based on their uh, background and interests. This occurs over a series of conversations. We're also happy to host a match fellow for a visit to meet potential mentors when they visit Baltimore to house hunt. After arrival in Baltimore, each fellow undergoes a few orientation days with all other trainees. Just as a point of importance, we use EPIC as our single EMR across all hospitals and clinics. During the months of July and August, we host an orientation series on Wednesday and Friday afternoons. And these are the same times typically of our academic conferences throughout the academic year. The early works of orientation, early weeks of orientation focus on lectures from our faculty on rhinitis, asthma, food allergy, sinusitis, immune deficiency to give you basic knowledge. These are face-to-face -face discussions with each faculty member and just the first year adult and pediatric fellows are in attendance. You will come to discover that many of our faculty are thought leaders nationally and internationally in the diseases that they're talking to you about. There will also be topics covering skin testing, pulmonary function testing, immunotherapy, and anaphylaxis management. You begin your clinical training right away in July and will be assigned three or four half-day clinics for a six-month block of time with various attendings. During the first year, you will see mainly adult patients as an internal medicine trainee. We also have a dedicated adult immune deficiency clinic run by Dr. Urza, our clinical director. 
In September, we began our regular academic conferences with Wednesday afternoons dedicated to a one o'clock research conference. During this time, each faculty and fellow with in rotation will present their research program progress. And you will be expected to do this towards the tail end of each uh, year you're in fellowship. At two o'clock, we host what we call the Allergy Clinical Teaching Program. This is a conference where the clinical fellows present a topic of their choosing with, with oversight by a clinical faculty member. This can range from a case discussion or a bench to bedside uh, discussion journal club in a rotating format. On Fridays, we, we have a conference that we call the Allergy Clinical and Immunology Conference, where we have invited speakers from Hawkins or national experts in other specialty areas, such as rheumatology, ophthalmology, dermatology, pulmonary, to gain insight into other immune-mediated diseases that you may consider on your differential, as well as that may be covered on your board examination. On a quarterly basis on Fridays, we host another conference called Allergy Grand Rounds in conjunction with another allergy fellowship program from the DC area. In the fall of each year, we, own, we host an annual symposium. We're now probably in our 30th year where we bring in international experts on a particular theme topic. At the end of December, you will finish your first six month block and begin a brand new six month block of training from January through June with new clinics and new faculty. As a first year in January, you will first be excused from clinics for three weeks to, intense, to attend an intensive immunology course that takes place at the medical school. Topics covered will be B cells, T cells, innate immunity, um, pretty much an overview of the full immune response. It's your chance to update your knowledge from medical school. And it's important to note that the course content mirrors many, many of the items that are expected to be known by an allergy immunology fellow since 25% of your board examination is basic science. It helps to bring you up to speed on aspects of the normal, hum, um, normal immune response, which aids your understanding of various rare types of immune deficiencies. In the spring of the first year, you'll also attend the Quad AI meeting uh, with the overall goal of the first year giving you proficiency in patients that are similar to your primary residency track um, adult patients for internal medicine trainees and pediatric patients for the pediatric trainees. On call for the first year is typically assigned in two week blocks for a total of three months. You typically cover adult consults only at Johns Hopkins Hospital and Johns Hopkins Bayview. In pediatrics, there are two consult services, one for PETA allergy and one for, for immune deficiency with both reside at the Johns Hopkins Hospital campus. In the second year, we focus mainly on cross-training um, for our program. And so as an adult trainee, you will spend a full day in pediatric um, allergy clinic, along with another uh, six-month assignment in PEDS immune deficiency auto-inflammatory clinic. Um, in the second year, you'll also have a, a new array of clinical assignments with brand new faculty members. It's important to note we have ample cases in both diversity and number um, to that you will see both run of the mill, routine cases and complex cases. We also have enough cases such that we host the NIH allergy fellows for their pediatric allergy rotational experience. On call in the second year is different in that the cross training that's occurring in the outpatient setting is also brought to the inpatient setting with fellows typically taking both adult and pediatric calls simultaneously, something we call dual call. And this is typically for a total of two months. In the beginning of the second year, fellows uh, will begin the year with attendance at a special course that we call um, an update on clinical research principles. This takes place at the Johns Hopkins Hospital campus and involves fellows from around the School of Medicine. Some of our fellows who are interested in advanced education will also produce, pursue an additional degree, either a master's or a PhD within the GTPCI program, also known as the Graduate Training Program in Clinical Investigation. We're fortunate to have one of the co-founders of this program, Dr. Atkinson, as a faculty member and a trusted advisor. One of our newest faculty, uh, Santiago Alvarez is currently finishing his PhD now in the disease area of drug allergy. Besides completing clinical training, each fellow is simultaneously pursuing a research project under with a mentor and an area of their choosing. 
To assist with uh, career development and also gain further advice, we've established a mentorship committee that for the last 15 years has assisted and advised the fellow in a variety of questions and options for their further career development. Most fellows interested in academic career path will remain for a third year fellowship. During this time, they typically attend a limited half day of clinic and spend the remainder of their time focused on their career development with dedicated research time or are seeking advanced training. Hopefully I've provided you with a useful overview of the Adult Allergy and Immunology Fellowship Program to make you better informed about what to expect uh, uh, when you come to participate in your fellowship. Please reach out to me or to Kate if you have any further questions about our program.